Hey guys, Ben here. I'm with Andy from Platonic. Hello. Uh, we're involved with ukulele. Yes. Um, so, just in case anybody has missed it somehow, yeah. what is ukulele? What's it all about? So, ukulele is a uh, 3D uh, kind of collectathon style platformer inspired by lots of classic games of the past. Uh, and it's developed by uh, Platonic Games, um, where the group of kind of veterans of the genre who've uh, kind of worked in lead positions on the Banjo Kazooie games and the Donkey Kong Country games. So, in terms of the story. What is the whole concept for ukulele? What are people doing? Uh, so people kind of, it's, it's a game where you explore lots of really uh, kind of beautiful colourful worlds. You uh, collect like a whole bunch of golden trinkets and then you fight massive boss characters. Uh, you kind of choose your route through the game, you explore, find secrets, there's a lot of freedom. It's just a fun colourful game where kind of players have got a lot of choice in how they take routes through, through the game and adventure. So I mean, I have played a little bit of it before, and it is very sort of reminiscent of the older games, like the sort of Banjo and stuff like that. But what was, if you had to say there was one major influence, what was the major influence of the game? A bit, what made you look? What was the inspiration for it? Uh, well, the inspiration for it was, uh, was this, this genre that kind of went away uh, that most of our team kind of worked on back in the nineties. It's um, we like to call it an open world style of platform um, where you can kind of choose your, as I can mention there, your route for the game, where you go, where you explore. There's no giant mini map in our game or big, you know, waypoint arrow telling you where to go. Yeah, the player has a lot of choice to, to kind of explore and, and find things uh, at their own kind of um, behest. Uh, so that's really the, the, the kind of the inspiration a lot. The, the platformers that are around these days, and there aren't many of them, are very, have become very linear games, very A to B, almost like action games. Uh, so that's what we wanted to make, like a, an open style platformer that you know kind of had a lot of um, tonal uh, similarities with uh, kind of classic games from the nineties. It is, it is very reminiscent of like the older sort of platformers, mm. but I mean. You guys had a very, very successful Kickstarter. Was it like two point one yes. million? Yeah. What was that like to have that kind of? Because everybody has an idea of the game, what they want it to look mm. like. But to have that big of a backing on Kickstarter, what was all your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, obviously it was incredible to see that much support. I mean, we knew that there were uh, people who wanted to see this type of game come back again. We just didn't know how many people there were. So you know, it blew us away to you know break all these records and, uh, and you know kind of get all of these backers behind the game. Although what I would say is it's it's uh, it's not been easy. Um, crowdfunding is still very, very hard. It's certainly not free money. Um, you lose, you know, even two million pounds to make a game in scale of ours is absolutely nothing. I mean, if you were a big budget publisher, um, you know, you'd get 10 times more of that. Uh, you know, you lose lose it to tax, you lose it to you know, kind of transaction fees to Kickstarter. You have to spend money making and, and kind of sending out all of these physical items as part of the Kickstarter. So it's certainly not. It doesn't mean that we've we've kind of got a free pass. Yeah, we've still had to be very smart on how we've worked, and we've had to kind of work extra hard uh, to kind of uh, fulfil the, the expectations that come with uh, the attention and. Uh, you know, the kind of um, success of a Kickstarter like that. Um, but hopefully everyone will be pleased you know, when they get the final game in their hands. So what's the big picture? I mean, the release is looming, 11th of April. Mm. What's the plans after the release? Is it just sort of wait for the feedback, see what people are thinking? What is it that you've got planned post release? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we promised that we would make uh, DLC uh, free for our backers uh, exclusively. Uh, uh, we're not going to start thinking about that until after the game is out. I mean, at the moment we're still kind of um, making last minute uh, polish and fixes uh, you know, via, via patch, day one patch. Um, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, well, if you do get the chance to check it out, do play ukulele. The 11th of April is yes. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Oh. Yeah. And I do highly recommend it. Thank you very much. Buy four copies. <laughs> <laughs>